about a subject that has been weighing on my mind for quite a while, and that is what happened to common sense? Now, when I was growing up, it was very, very, very easy to find out the one or two people who had no common sense. Nowadays, it doesn't matter what age group, I, I mean, you can't blame it on the millennials or whatever generation is after them. You can't blame it on us. It is all over. It is in all age groups, in all ethnic backgrounds. I have noticed that common sense is just not very common anymore. I would like to ask, where did it go? I mean, it used to be that you didn't have to tell people, don't run out in the street, you'll get ran over by a car. And now what you have to say is, whoa, wait a minute, you'll get ran over by a car. Of course, most of these people that you're yelling that out to have their heads down in their cell phones texting away, which won't ever be a problem for me because it's really hard for me to wheel myself around in my wheelchair and text. I've currently, I'm just not that coordinated. Um, or back in the day, you could, we didn't used to have a bunch of warning labels on everything. The biggest warning label we ever had on anything, and I don't even know where that happened to be. It's gone now. It's very seldom, I very seldom see it at all on any chemicals and that is the skull and bones. Now, when you saw that, you knew, don't eat that, don't drink that, don't touch it, or you need to wear special clothing to touch it. Nowadays, people are drinking Clorox and snorting stuff from air, like the air from the can or Lysol or whatever. I mean, you have to tell people, don't let your toddler eat Tide Pods. Seriously, where, where did the common sense go? Where did, where did it go? Why are we having to tell people, you know, don't play with matches. Oh, you got burned? Oh, you burned your house down? Didn't somebody tell you that that would burn your house down? Didn't somebody tell you that would give you a third degree burn? I mean, I, I just honestly, it has amazed me to see the people that I have come around and seen and it's like, oh my gosh, they were not raised with common sense. I mean, I was told to go play out in the road to get out of my parents' way. Did we go play out on the road? Well, first of all, we lived out in the really far boonies in the country, so no, there wasn't a road to play on. But if our friends that lived in town, our, their parents told them, you know, hey, why don't you and your friends go out and play on the road? We didn't go play out on the road. We knew that really meant get out of their hair. We're driving them crazy. I mean, I've never seen so many things that have got warning labels. I mean, there's curling irons, there's hair dryers, there's toasters, there's all sorts of things that say, don't get this wet or don't do this, or it might electrocute you. You know, when I was young and I was raised up on a ranch, it only took me one time to touch an electric fence and I didn't do it again. Oh, it's on. And I always assume from there on, that any of those kinds of fences were turned on. The electricity to that fence is on. Never touch it. Just always assume that electric fence is on. Always assume when you see that boiling pot on the stove, don't touch the handle with your bare hands. It's gonna burn you. Don't stick your hand on the stove that's hot, fiery hot it's going to burn you. I just want to know, am I the only one out here that's just like, where did the common sense go? I mean, we're having to tell kids, don't stick your hand in that dog's mouth 
that dog will bite you. We were not ever told to go do that. We knew to be apprehensive around strangers' dogs. And if somebody told you their dog bites, that dog bites. We didn't go and test out the boundaries to find out if that dog did bite. No, we took the owner's word for it. Because if they hadn't told us back then that the dog bit and we got bit by it, they would be in big trouble. So I just want to say, if you out there are wondering where did the common sense go, you're not the only one that's thinking that. I am all the time on a daily basis wondering where did it go. I see so many people that I'm not even sure how they made it out of bed or made it out of their house and they've got clothes on. I'm not even sure how they even accomplish that because once they have gotten out of their house with clothes on, all hell breaks loose. They walk in front of a moving car. They don't notice their vehicle has a flat tire and they're like, oh, I wonder why it's running funny. I mean, they just don't know. Their car is on E and they still manage to somehow or another go, oh, I can go and run it to it. And it's like, well, that E does not stand for enormous gas tank. It stands for empty. But for some reason, those people are out there and they're gonna, you know, test it out. Not them. It won't happen to them. So anyway, I hope you follow me at TammyKey710. Please subscribe, and if you do like this video, press the like button. And for those of you who know my service dog, Miss Charlie Girl, here she is. Say hi, Charlie. Say hi. And I will get to doing a raptor video when I'm set up a little better. Anyway, thank you, and bye for now.